Hello everyone, Silver Conundrum here. I come to you today with a question. If you had the extra money, would you buy silver? And if you did, would you buy silver in bulk? Well, I had a few dollars sitting around in my savings account, so to speak, and I decided I was going to buy silver. I've told you guys before in the past that I don't care if silver went to 50, 60, even $100 an ounce, I'm still buying. I'm just not going to buy as much as I normally would. So this Friday and this Saturday, we went to the coin shop, and here's what they had. Uh, Unicorn Stacker went with me, and she picked out quite a few things, and Miss Anna T, when you see the ones that she picked out, you'll know it, and I'll point it out to you guys. So we're going to start off, I'm going to show you guys what we got, and then I'm going to do an overview of it. And this isn't going to be an informational video. This is just going to be a show and tell kind of thing, guys. So feel free to skip this video if you don't want to see it. And if you've already seen them, cool. If not, no big deal. But I'm not going to highlight every single... Yeah, actually, I probably am. I'm going to highlight everything just so you guys can see what it is. But if it's duplicates, we'll move on. So we wanted up getting a little Amex bar here. A little generic bar. Nothing to it. We're going to set it off over here to the side. We got another little Atmex bar. Apparently that went to some little boy named Isaac in 1990. Hmm. I didn't notice that before. Let's get all the bars out of the way. We got another little Atmex bar. Let's see what else we got here. Some of these guys I really didn't even see. When I grabbed them, I just said... I want what you got, and that's it. So, some of these things will be the first time I've even seen them. That's the main reason I wanted to do the video. Oh, look at that little sunshine mint bar. That's cool. Another little sunshine mint. And another one. Yeah, and another one. So I hope everybody's been having a good weekend. Yeah. Pretty beat up, but nothing major. I think it's mostly plastic damage. Let's see what else we got around here. Oh, all right, here we go. Got a 10 ouncer. There we go, folks. And then we got a 2013. Got the scales on the back. All right, I think that's all the bars, guys. Now, let's get on to the coins and the bullion. So, we got an unopened roll of 20. These are the 2015 half ounce Lunar Goats. So this is only 10 ounces, guys. As you can see, the goats are actually kind of cool. But this is an unopened tube. We got a United States of America Freedom Will Endure. What's on the back of this thing? Operation Iraqi Freedom, 2003, March 19th. We will bring freedom to others and we will prevail. George W. Bush coin, three nines fine. We have, back in 2006, they only paid $24. You guys remember $24? It wasn't too long ago for us. A little panda, three nines fine. Goes to show, guys, right there, back in 2006 when silver was $24. Wasn't too long ago, silver was $24 here. So, so history repeats itself. 1987 panda. Oh, well, that's neat. What is this? How's this thing even go? Oh, there we go. Oh, Noah's Ark. Mm. 500 dram. One ounce. Three nines fine. Republic of Armenia. So I believe that's a coin. That's neat. 
got an Australian Koala 2012. Is it me or does he look angry? Ooh, somebody spent 40 bucks, 50 bucks in 2012. Look at that, guys. Y'all remember when silver in 2012 was expensive? Yeah, well, we're going back to that. Just goes to show, people are trying to recover their money is what it looks like. Looks like somebody bought all these things, and when they turned them in, they were just waiting to re regain their money. North American Big Gain, Super Slam. Oh, my buddy just bought this set, guys. That set is absolutely amazing. I need to pull this thing out of this capsule and get a better capsule for it, though. I think it comes with like 28 different big games of North America. What is this one? Oh, it's a kookaburra. The Australian kookaburra, 2008. One ounce. Hey, what is this thing? Yeah, it's bullion. We'll set that one off to the side over there. Oh, one of the original. When they used to put them back in the square slabs. What year is this? 1990-something? Yep, there it is right there. 1991, guys. Kookaburra. One of the originals. Here we got another Kookaburra. 2001. 2007, they made $23 for this. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This was somebody's stack that they actually got rid of. They figured they probably bought it back then. One dollar. Kangaroo. So they probably bought the stack way back when. And when they did, they figured they had an opportunity to actually... Uh, another Grand Slam. To recoup some of their money that they thought they might have lost. Get out while the getting's good type deal. So we did a video this morning, if you guys haven't seen it, the Unicorn Stacker, she uh, got her 9 ounces of silver today, oh look at that guys, 2011, paid $48 for a Kookaburra. Yeah, that's just another one of those, and that's another one of those. Just another buffalo. Generic. Eh, 2016 Santa round. A little bit of a generic. I do like some of the generic rounds, guys. They're not all not all bad. A little generic one right there. What do we got here? North America Big Game, Super Slam, the Cougar. Oh, there we go. Got Rudolph. Merry Christmas. What year is this thing? 2003. Season's greetings. 3 nines fine. Yeah, what do we got here? Season greetings. 2002. Not too bad. As you guys can see, I really don't discriminate against silver for the most part. A little Libertad, it looks like. Saw something. What was that? It's got some writing there, it looks like, guys. Let's see what that says. It says Independence Libertad. You guys can see it. And I just threw the capsule on the floor. Yay for me. Independence Day Liberty is what it says. Nope. Independence Day Libertad. So this must be a special edition Libertad. Huh. That's cool. Oh, got one of those. Sorry about the camera, guys.
Let's see what else we got here. I hey, got another generic. Got another Super Slam here. What else we got? North American Big Game Super Slam. Caribou. That's neat. Oh, I got my first Britannia, 2020. Look at that. Okay. I only got one of those. Never had a Britannia before. So, the coin shop that I go to, guys, the name of it is, let me show you, because I did get permission to use it, is Bill's Coin and Jewelry. As you can see, the date. 8-8-20. This is when I went. I'm just going to show you guys. Bought 102 ounces that day at $31.62 an ounce. I got some of my personal information on the bottom. That's why it's all covered up. So, that's what we spent on the 8th. It was $31.62 an ounce for 102 ounces. Not too shabby. If you guys get a, ch a chance, that's their phone number. You guys can call them up and tell them Silver Conundrum sent you over there. And it's a YouTube channel. And guess what? See if they have anything in stock. They do ship. Now, mind you, I'm not going to say they will ship because there is issues with the postal services right now. So, let that be just what it is. So, let's get back to this. I just wanted you guys to see where I shop at. And give them a shout out because they have gone above and beyond. As you can see, guys, $31 for some of these coins. That's a really, really good deal. And the best part is, I haven't gotten through most of the coins yet, guys. Or even the bullion yet. Got a little panda in there. Now, this panda didn't come from there. Actually, I traded this one to a buddy of mine last night. Uh, he had this right here and he is a very big collector of Inglehard uh, prospector uh, bullion so I traded him in 1982 Inglehard bullion uh, prospector for this and he liked that coin I like this one I say that one was not a coin the other one was a bullion around this is a coin it was a good deal for him a good deal for me and I was happy he was happy uh, then I got another Coco Burl here. This is what, 2006? I'm not sure if that's a reverse proof or something special about it, but it's definitely different. Got the queen. You can see where the sticker was pulled off of it. Let's see what else we got here, guys. Another Coco Burl, 1995. Ooh, got another original Coco Burl. What is this, a 90? Yep. Yes, there it is, 1990. Guys, look at the toning on this thing, man. Look at that. Queen's got the special crown on. If y'all notice the crown on the queen, the crown is absolutely different. See? Look. If you look at most of the old crowns, the queen's crown actually varies on different coins so as the effigy changes the co the Queen's crown changes I like how they do things like that personally or this one uh, another 1991 kookaburro somebody broke this one out of its original capsule these actually come came in square capsules guys back in the day like this one right here $20 $22 back in 06 that's about right I remember spending about 20 to 21 though back in that time frame. What is this one? This is President International Nope. Presidential Inauguration 2005. That was George W. Bush, President of the United States of America. That's cool. Never had one of those before. And sorry guys, like I said, this is the first time I've actually laid eyes on this silver. I just knew what it was when I grabbed it. 
I just started counting out ounces when I was paying for it. So, wow. Okay, I like that one. Some of these, I just, when I grabbed them, I didn't care. I counted ounces, threw it in the box, and ran out the store. What is this? That's another Lieber Dad. Alrighty. 2001 Libertad. This is my first Libertad. Wow. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I'm gonna just. Well, I really do like that. Guys, I think I just found a new favorite coin. These are absolutely neat. I'm gonna look at that one after we get done here. What is this one? United States of America, one ounce silver round. Our forces on land, United States Army. Hell yeah. For any one of you who are military, I thank you for your service. You guys are awesome. Without you, there's a lot of things in this world wouldn't be done. So we got 2004. Got another little panda. Look at that, guys. That's a real one ounce panda. Y'all know they changed the uh, pandas from uh, 31.1 grams back down to 30 grams and they still charge you the same amount. And some of those coins, they actually charge even more of a premium on them. We get gypped out of what we have. Let's see here. Eh, another Canadian maple leaf. Anything special about it? 2013. Eh, another kookaburra. 2019 there you go guys United States of America $20 so this is just a copy nine three nines fine silver this is a little collector's piece as you guys can see it's absolutely amazing it's a two ouncer you got serial number on there it's 44 it's a nice little piece. It looks like it came out of a collection, though. Like somebody separated a collection in order because they needed money. We got a two-ounce Kookaburra. This one came out of a collection also. Uh, so this is part of a three-ounce collection. This is a BU Kookaburra. The only reason I know that is because I actually have one. I'll be... So people are breaking down sets, guys. That's something y'all should actually be concerned about. Then we got this right here. This is the 2011 Australian Koala. Got a 2010 Koala. Back in 2010, they paid $42.44. See, I like these little stickers, guys, because it lets you see what people paid for these things back in the day. It puts things in perspective for then and now. And guys, we're not even done. I still got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 plus ounces still to go. What is this? This is one I actually did see this one, guys. I saw this one and about stroked out. I love, love, love the kangaroos. And uh, this right here is a 2007 kangaroo. Guys, I say I love, I love all silver. I just like certain designs. Some of them are just, to me, they're neat. Then we got another kookaburro. Get up in a little bit so you guys can see it's a 1991 Australian Perth Mint. Got some toning in there, right there. Nothing wrong with that. Got another Koala 2009. And we don't got a price tag on the back of that one. But it is what it is. Guys, this right here is an entire roll of maples. There's no privy marks on any of them. The reason why I know this one is because I actually looked through this roll. At least I think I did. 
But we'll go through it together just to be safe. My buddy at work, the one who is, has actually listened to me, he has been collecting silver on the sly. And he and I got to talking last night, and he's accumulated about 400 ounces in the last probably year and a half. And the only reason he said he didn't want anybody to know about it was because he said there's a stigma about people who collect silver. I was like, you mean like people who collect baseball cards and cars and people who collect ex-wives and ex-husbands and stuff like that? He's like, he just laughed. The only stigma about collecting silver is you're just trading one wealth for another. So that's 20 ounces we just went through, guys. That was quick and painless. Oh, goodness. What else we got here? Alrighty. These, I'm not going to take them all out because I know what these all are. My daughter saw these. The Unicorn Stacker saw these on Miss Ana T's channel on the way to the coin shop Saturday. And when she saw these fill her mind, she's like, I got to have them, Daddy. Please buy them. Please, 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 please. So, I bought a stack for her. I bought 20 for her and I bought 20 for my son. And here... Once I get it, the stuff done, we'll put them all back in there. So, I got a stack for him and a stack for her. However, I say that, I don't know what's in this one. Yep, there's our harmonics also. That would have been bad if I would have got those guys. It would have been something totally different. Okay. So, these are a little bit different coins. So, or rounds. We're going to see what's on these. Looks like we got a Poseidon. TridentSilver.com. That's pretty neat. Stagecoach. We got divisible quarter ounce silver, stagecoach, Liberty Bell. Ooh, got some toning on that old girl. Give me your tired, your poor, your wretched. Refuse to. No, oh, there it goes. Refuse, refuse of your tipping shore. I missed my door. Oh, that's what's on the Statue of Liberty. Imagine that. Ah, oh, there it is. This is a Statue of Liberty. Imagine that. And we've all seen that one. We've all seen the Buffalo. We've all seen that one. What's this one? Magic of Technology. 1985. Electronic. Sorry guys. Then wait for this thing to zoom in. There it goes. Informatics, okay. Follow the system. Some interesting little pieces here. Yeah, stagecoach. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. Seen that one. That's the stagecoach. Seen that one. Seen that. So these are just generic silver. Okay, so let's see what's in the other one. Oh, okay. This isn't generic silver. This is more maple leaves. All right, guys, so no preview marks, but these are all just generic maple leaves. So we don't need to beat a dead horse with those things and let's see what we got in here okay another trident trident buffalo buffalo stagecoach stagecoach buffalo buffalo eagle trade eagle trade 
stagecoach. Then we got a buffalo, eagle, eagle, buffalo, 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 and more buffaloes. Well, guys, that's it. That's everything. Hmm. All right. Sorry, guys. I had to do a quick count. Make sure things were right. Everything is right. And then... In this morning's video, when we got ready to throw all the stuff away, Guido actually threw this in the package for the unicorn stacker to add to her stack. This is actually pretty cool looking. So, I don't know what it is, but it is a, it looks like a, either a German or a, Russian coin of some sort six pence or it could be even be English hmm. not sure but either way we'll look it up later on I just want to show you guys give a shout out to him and then because some other people might say something funny about it that's where we were at in 2000 or 2000 and uh, on the 8 or 8 7 of 20, where we bought 107 ounces at $33 an ounce. $33.51 an ounce. So we bought 209 ounces in two days, guys. As you can see, everything that we've done, grand total was 33. Three, there we go. Now we can actually see what we're doing. So grand total was roughly 36, say 3,500, so 6,500 bucks, guys. So in two days, we spent $6,500 on silver. And then this right here is one that, like I said, that came from Guido. I bought this from him. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, just go do that. There's a few channels I'd like to give a shout out to. Miss Anna T. Then you guys got Fred Gar. AG Skyflyer. X Pack Stacker. 5150. Silver Game of Thrones. And all those other guys, if I forgot you, there will be still be a link in the description below for everybody. These are people that I listen to, guys. If you have the time, I highly suggest you take a listen to them as well. I thank you all. I'm going to just give you guys a little quick pan out of what's here. Let you guys just get a quick overview of what we got. So these were all within two days, folks. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video with us. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. If you don't, hit the thumbs down button. Just explain why. Guys, y'all have a great day. Have a good weekend, what's left of it. Catch you guys on the next one.